puts two in the top. One, two. And so does Cal. Check it out. The middle of the pool. Two Bears, two Longhorns. And of the 200 back, the records are held by Ryan Murphy, who set up the NCAA championships in Atlanta back in 2016, 135-73. And here in this one, lane number three, Daniel Carr. Now a sophomore at Cal. And Carr. Colorado Swimmer of the Year, three straight years in high school, going up through 2017. Austin Katz of Texas, the defending champion in this event. Certainly the huge favorite here. Gotten better and better in this 200 distance. His teammate could give him a run, though. They're seated one, two. Yep, John Shebbett, runner up in both backstroke events each of the last two years, was fourth in the 100 back earlier in this meet. Bryce Mefford of Cal is in lane number six, having a great meet, nearly qualified for the Pan Pacific Championships last summer. Four sophomores, three juniors in this final and you also need to keep an eye on lane one coleman stewart of nc state coleman stewart second in the hunter backstroke second in the hunter butterflyer earlier in the meet he's a great 200 backstroker as well I, again it, it it seems like we're talking almost like a dual meet between texas and cal but this is this really shapes up to be in the middle of the pool. Those four lanes right there in the middle. John Shevitt, a senior. This is his final individual race at the NCAAs. In lane five, can he finally get that coveted individual title? It's between him and Katz. You would think in the middle of the pool, the two Longhorn teammates, will Katz win it again? Or can Shevitt, who was the runner-up last year, get that title, Shevitt, going out pretty fast? Shevitt has the most speed, obviously. You can see what he's done in the back. Start the hunter back. He was fourth in the hunter back final. Only Coleman Stewart was better. And he knows he's got to take it out because his teammate, as well as some of these other guys, are going to be able to have a great back half. So if anything, he's got to get out quick, lay off the legs just enough to have some legs to back 100. But he's got to be fast without trying out, trying it too hard. Now you can see his first 100. He's going to be a good half body length. Ahead of Katz at 46 flat. And he's under record pace. Austin Katz, though, the fourth fastest 200 backstroker in history. Just above him, can he back half his Longhorns teammate? 23-9 right there on that 50 for Shevitt. Still looking great underwater. Katz is starting to make a move a little bit. This has all the making of a 1-2 finish for Texas. No question. 24-8 for Shevitt. 24-6 for Katz. He's coming back on Shevitt. A little more than 25 yards to go. Shevitt, can he hang on? Katz churning through and making that final turn. It's Longhorns 1 and 2. Shevitt on the bottom. Katz on the top. Shevitt, a four-time runner-up at the NCAAs, looking for that title. 135-7 is the record. The touch. And it's John Shevitt, 136-42. Shevitt finally in his final NCAA race is a champion. by three one hundredths over his teammate and the defending champ, Austin Katz. That's the second and third fastest times ever. And, and that's what you want to feel good about. A senior going out in his final swim to get his first victory over that guy right there, the sophomore Katz. Katz is going to have plenty more. He's going to have a lot of opportunities ahead of him in the 100 and the 200, but this was the last one. And I think even Austin Katz realizes that. He, I think he realizes, you know what? I'm proud to swim in this pool with you. We're teammates. We've been doing it in the pool all together, all along. Here's the star. Here's the two guys in the middle. Cow guys on either side of them, all getting off to a great start. 
Cal guys finished third and fifth, so they pick up some good points. Offsets a little bit of a Texas feel on that. But boy, this, and by the way, this is the first time two swimmers have ever been 136 at the halfway point. You see Shevitt taking it out very quick at 46.5. But I was going to say 136. Nobody's ever been under 137 except for Ryan Murphy. <laughs> And he's done it a few times. He's done it four times, actually three times, 36, and he's been 35. So the record stands, but boy, Rich, this was special for this guy right there. John Shebbett, three one hundredths of a second. And you know Katz wanted that, but I don't think anybody's ever been happier to finish second than Austin Katz right there.